Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is your favorite South Florida real estate agent, Jason, and I'm here to show you a beautiful high-rise condo here in Brickell, one of my favorite areas in Miami. It's a four bedroom, four bathroom, about 4,500 square feet, and it's sitting on the 59th floor of the Four Seasons Residence Building. And as part of living in the Four Seasons, you get access to the five-star upscale amenities, including two heated pools, hot tub, poolside cabanas, ocean views, 24-hour valet, and much, much more. I just wanna give a quick shout out to the listing agent, Daniel, who works with Douglas Elliman for allowing us to do this tour. And on that note, follow me up these stairs and let's head inside. And just like that, we're up here. Let's get started. So as we come in, I don't know if I wanna just give away the master suite right here, but I guess we might as well. It's right in front of me. So I'm gonna ignore these breathtaking views and just head right into the master suite. The first thing I see, CGI projection screen of views. It's just, it's unbelievable. You got that water, the islands, boats, jet skis, the bridge, the reflection of the sun on the water. It's got me wanting to write some poetry. You got two nice places where you can easily just sit and take a look at the views yourself. And this is where you retire. This is where you come in from a long day, kick back, relax, and you can see the tail end, really, of South Beach across the water over there. This whole wall of entertainment, a little bit of storage for your trophies, storage down below, a little dresser action, and you got the big flat screen and the mood lighting above. You got the closet walk-in number one, closet walk-in number two. To my right, you got the main bathroom suite. So you walk in, boom, bada bing. You got the dual sinks, but a little more elegantly done than you're used to seeing. On my left, you got not one, but two walk-in showers. You can count them if you want. And then a soaking tub down the middle. How relaxing does that look? And then to finish it off, you got your vanity and your toilet on the other side. But let's get back in. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of this property. Here is the main part of the property. This is what people want to see, what people want to talk about. You come right in and boom, you're in a great room. There's a reason why they call it the great room. It's pretty great. Besides the seating that you have, this formal living room style seating right here, which let's just mention it real quick. I mean, a great place to come in, get the chatter going, and you're just blessed with the city side of you. So, you know, you're showing someone about Miami or you wanna tell them different aspects. Before you talk about the water, you gotta tell them about the city. This is where the business is done. This is where you can see the SLS, Brickle, Flatiron, all the important structures of downtown Miami. You got little art fixtures like this, access to the balcony, which I will save for later. And then it takes you into the relaxation part of the living room. So in here, this is where you, you inch the party over. You got maybe a few more guests than you expected. It's okay, it's all right, calm down. You got enough seating for them. In my opinion, this is where the, the owner of this property sits and he just looks back on all his guests. But regardless, behind this chair, this is where you have an unearthly amount of views. It expands as far as your eye physically can see. You probably should get a telescope, put it right here. Just enjoy the ambiance around you. Once again, you can see all the staples of Miami, Sunny Isles in the distance, Miami Beach, the cruise ship docking port. It's a place where you can stand for hours and that's why the seating is here. And then just off of this whole entertaining space, you got a dining room. This originally was a bedroom. As you can see, it is and should always be a dining room. A mirror to expand the room with the same mood lighting behind it. And this whole dining table is just blessed with another window because when you live this high up this is what it's all about especially when you're in south florida especially on a day like today especially when especially when as a boat passes us in the distance that's my cue to keep the tour moving but i don't want to leave and neither will you if you get to see this in person so we're going to continue walking forward this way looking back on it it's like when you lock your beautiful car and you look back one more time just to you know, acknowledge that it's yours. I'm looking back, I wanna acknowledge this is mine. I'm gonna walk this way. On my right, you have kitchen number one, or let's just call it the main kitchen. You come right in, boom, boom. What's not to love about a kitchen with views? You know, yeah, your kitchen at home is nice, it's got cool appliances, but that's the money of this whole kitchen. But let's talk about these appliances while we're here anyway. You got the huge 
sub-zero refrigerator. You got your Gaganau stove and I don't know about you, but that's one of the most high-tech stoves I've ever seen. There's like two over here, two burners over here, and then the, the cooktop in the middle. What is this down here? A little oven action, trays down below, and then you even have the ba Balthup air vent. I've never seen that before. I had to mention it. I'll throw up the price and the name for those people who aren't familiar like myself. And then I just want to talk about the finishes as well. They have that nice wood finish against the stainless steel, against the white kind of marble finish. It's just, it's as if Picasso came in here and said, let's make a kitchen, baby. Yep. And then just behind, once you're done cooking and everything, it's time to eat. Get the real stuff going. You bring the food over, right? You don't have to go all the way to the dining room. That's too much walking. You come over here, you got a floating bar stool kind of set up right here. The granite is a different texture. It's got like a darker marble finish on this side. Three bar stools, three lucky people. And then a nice place to put your fine china and other luxury pleasantries. But obviously let's talk about the main part of this whole kitchen area is that when you come out onto this part, 59 stories up in the air in Miami, you have a private little terrace. When you come out to here, it's just you and a significant other chatting, discussing that important business, and you're overlooking Miami. And not just any part of Miami, the most important parts of Miami, the water, the city. You can hear the sound of people working hard and people living their best lives. It's quite special. So let's come back in. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention is this is actually two units combined into one unit. So the layout is very interesting. So let's walk down here. We come down this hall, look at that lighting sort. You know, not just a light bulb, you got a light strip, almost like an arrow leading you to your final destination. And then on my left, you know what it is. It's a guest bedroom. On my left, you have the ensuite. Very nice. Got the walk-in shower. We've seen ensuites. But then this is where the money is. You walk into the main part of the bedroom. Wow. Wow, wow. You got access to that private balcony. Your entertainment system right on this wall. But truthfully, that's the real entertainment. Right by this window. Nice place to sit down and actually enjoy it. Floor to ceiling view of Miami. Once again, the same view that we saw over there. But correct me if I'm wrong. Does this ever get old? No, it doesn't. And if it gets old, then maybe you're old. Because this is just, I can look at this all day and night. It's fantastic. So let's go take a look. Maybe the other guest suites are just as nice. Who knows? Let's check it out. As we come down a little further on my right, once again, you do have another guest suite. Just as beautiful as the last, I should say. The views are pretty much exactly the same. The room is a little bigger, but the reason is, is there's no ensuite in this one. Don't be scared, all right? The ensuite is just across the hall. This room is actually currently being used and you got the pull out bed pulled out, but you can see, imagine sleeping. Whoever that guest is that was here, the luckiest person on earth. They're waking up, they make, they turn to their left and they see the heart of a beating state. It's true, it's true. So we're, let's go take a look at their bathroom, which honestly in and itself is an impressive bathroom. Just across the hall, look at the soak in tub that you get inside the guest suite. It's insane. The toilet is hidden behind the frosting glass, and then you got the walk-in shower behind me, vanity and sink. Better than my bathroom at home. Nearly every bathroom that we've been in is better than one at my house. We'll pass all this art. It's got me reminiscing about my trip to New York. And as we walk down a little further, you already know the vibes. Before I get into this part, let's talk about the final guest suite that we're gonna be taking a look at. You walk on in, boom, behind this, door, you got the ensuite bathroom. We've seen them, we've seen them once, we've seen them all. Once again, all I wanna focus on is the main bedroom area of this property. The views never get old. I can talk about these over and over and I'm gonna show them to you over and over because it's my favorite part of the whole property. Every guest that is staying, spending the night here, you think they're ever gonna complain? You can serve them water and ice cubes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and all they're gonna say is how great of a stay they had because look what they're looking at all day. It doesn't get much better than this. But I wanna show you one of my favorite parts about this whole unit is that when you come down over here, since this is two units combined into one, they made the second living room and kitchen an entertainer's paradise. So let's just start 
with the kitchen in itself, the kitchen, it's been converted into an entertainer bar. You got a nice little storage area. Look how many drawers. I mean, one, four, just so many drawers. I'm overwhelmed with drawers. And then hidden behind the wall, you have not one, not two. I don't know why I'm telling you like you can't count. There are three wine coolers over here, storing more than enough bottles. And how about this, even down below, each one has a drink cooler. So basically, you know, just invite the whole building over for drinks because you've got enough inventory to make it happen. And then we'll wrap around this way. This is the part where I was like, Whew. all right. So in here, you just lift these two, lift these two guys up and you got, bam, magic. I'm just a young magician. Couldn't think of any magician's names, but you got the hidden coffee maker for after you get that little, little drunk going, you want to sober up and get that right home. Never drink and drive, you got the coffee maker. All the drinks up above, anything good in here? All right. No Hennessy. No Hennessy. I can't relate. And then down below, besides, I mean, look at how beautiful this is. Wine bottle storage, cutlery, just all the storage. No one complains about storage. And then when you want more drink coolers, another fridge, and one down below, just filled with the mixers. So you put all the mixers here, all the drinks behind me, and you have the whole bar set up. I think this is a coffee maker, like a espresso. Yeah, so it's like a little, but it's bar, Barteslan. Once again, I'll put the name because I have no idea what that is. And then to end it all off, ice maker. Everyone needs an ice maker because we like our ice. Nice. And then just off this bar, it takes us into our final entertaining space. So right here, we have, I don't even want to call this a dining room. This is like the coffee sit down, drink testing, wine sipping, business talking, cooling area because right behind me you got a little record player a little music thing going on artwork it's just a place that screams class to me but when i turn around this is where you're gonna come home after a late night cuddle with your significant other that's right and you're gonna put on your favorite movie listen tell me this is an imax i won't believe you and then you got even just a little bit of sound blocking technology on the wall so that the room doesn't echo in here this couch is super inviting. You got pickup jacks right there. <laughs> and then this wall, which just adds a little bit of character. It's that white brick, so you feel kind of like you're in New York almost. And then just an ottoman and table. Look at the design of this as well. Just like a piece of art. Everything's art in here. And then to finish it all off, you got this little love sectional right here. And right behind me, the best views that you can pretty much get living in Brickell. And I think this is also where I would like to end the tour for today. So if this is your first time on my channel, don't forget to click the other videos. They're all good in my opinion. And if you have any questions about music, the equipment we used, the property itself, everything will be down below in the description. I just got an Amazon store so you can browse all of our equipment. It's really cool and easy to see. The music link is down below. You can see all the music that's, that was used in this video. And uh, subscribe, get ready for the next one. It only goes up from here, as I always say, and uh, really appreciate you and love you. That's right, I love you. So if no one else does, I do. That's it.